All right, everyone, I hope you're all having a gorgeous evening. Um, I'd like to thank BAFTA very much for inviting me to present this award. Um, so let's find out the nominees for the preschool animation category. Preschool animation. Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Yeah! be eating him for weeks. He's got the cheese. Start the engine. Full sail. Jungle Junction. OK, on the count of three, we start the race. One, two, three. Peppa Pig. Stop! What's the problem? We're digging up the road. And I'm the boss. Oh. <laughs> Is it going to take long? It'll take as long as it will take. We have to make a hole. Vroom, Timmy time. <laughs> And the BAFTA goes to... Timmy Time. I don't know what to say now. Um, <laughs> thank you very much to the Academy. Uh, thank you hugely to the uh, Timmy Time crew who work tirelessly every day of the week to produce the beautiful animation that you saw tonight. I'd like to thank Dave, Director Dave, Director Liz, who's over there at the table, Sarah Fong, line producer. Thank you, Ardman. Thank you, Kay Bembo and Beth Gardner, who've both supported Timmy hugely over the years. Thank you. Thank you. We had some air punching on that one, didn't we? Yes! Celebrate however you like, by the way. If you want to jump up in the air, punch your hand in the air, whatever, take your shoe off and throw it at someone you think's rubbish, whatever you want to do. <laughs> OK, our next award is Preschool Live Action. Don't, please don't throw your shoes. I'm going to get in trouble now. <laughs> to present this, someone who won the hearts of millions to become the winner of Andrew Lloyd Webber's Search for a Star for his latest musical extravaganza. <laughs> Soon to play the lead role of Dorothy alongside Michael Crawford in The Wizard of Oz, she truly is on the yellow brick road to success. Please welcome Danielle Hope. Oh, I've had nightmares all week about dropping this before I got here, so it's there. It's fine. Okay, here are the nominations for preschool live action. Thanks. Preschool live action. Grandpa in my pocket. Who's a lovely litter picker, eh? I am. I am. I'm a lovely litter picker. <laughs> Do you want to go, Jemima? Whoop! Now, as you know, when Grandpa gets into things, he can make them go. So now, he was making the litter picker fly. And he flew right out of the lighthouse window. Ye do or not, Mawa. Be the charm, a home to do all my work, and they went for John Parry. Dava John, a John Parry. Ma Sean Pearson, far more ifanc. 
ac mae o'i siwbod yn ffarmwr pan mae o'n tyfu'n fawr hefyd. Mae siwbod yn ffarmwr a glocsiaf. Something special. Oh, Violet, can you see the sea? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's right, Violet. It's a lighthouse. Big and small. Yes, it will be. Makes a really nice sun. Oh, if I'd have known that these crayons were so much fun, I'd have told Big not to hog them. <laughs> oh, what was that? <laughs> hey, I used to be much better at sitting. <laughs> And the award goes to something special. much thank you very much I don't quite believe this um, when we started something special about eight years ago there were two aims that I had for the series uh, one was to help children with learning disabilities find their voice um, the other was to give them a voice on national television and for that we've got to thank uh, BBC children's programs and uh, particularly the commissioners that we've had in the past um, Karen Johnson, Michael Carrington, Kay Bembo, uh, and of course Joe Godwin, who we know is our hugest fan. Thank you, Joe. Um, also, I have to thank the most amazing production and technical team who work tirelessly and always give that little bit extra to make the programme something special. Um, and in particular, our directors, Helen O'Connell, Anna Perone, and Claire Taylor. <laughs> And then, of course, there comes the big man himself, Justin Fletcher, who is a creative genius. And I'm happy to say a very, very dear friend of mine. Anyone who's had the pleasure of working with Justin knows how he can connect and communicate with children in a way that I have never seen anyone else do so. Um, finally, our other set... Oh, and can you thank Mr Tumble as well? I will. <laughs> And finally, I'd like to thank our other set of stars, which is the children who we work with. Um, children who are often punching against some very, very difficult odds and turn out the most wonderful, wonderful performances. And if I can just indulge, I'd like to dedicate this award to a very special little boy who broke all our hearts, um, a little boy called Adam Lawton. Uh, and Adam inspired us and he showed us how to live life and that is with a very big smile. So thank you very much. I just... Um, I'd like to do a personal thank you to Alan Johnston um, because uh, when he came to me when we were shooting Ticket Biller and said we've got this tiny budget to make a, uh, you know, a programme for children with learning difficulties. I had no idea that it was going to carry on and it's in its seventh or eighth year now. So I think uh, we should all thank Alan Johnston for the, the brains behind this as well. I want Justin to be my dad. No offence, Dad. All right, now for the special award. This award is in the gift of the Academy and is awarded in recognition of a fantastic body of work. To present it, someone who knows all about fantastic bodies, he's partnered with one on Strictly, where he's stunning us with his sambas and wowing us with his waltzes. That's nice. He's also the presenter of Country File and Secret Britain. And he couldn't be here tonight. <laughs> and he's a keen fan of rambling. As a farmer, he thinks of foxes as vermin. I work with Basil Brush, I tend to agree. <laughs> Everybody, please welcome two-time BAFTA winner and somebody I personally look up to, Matt Baker. Hello, hello. 
Lovely to see you all. Now then, it is an artist's greatest ambition to have a career that is significant, lengthy and varied. And the recipient of this special award this evening has done exceptionally well on all three accounts. Now, he began his performing career as an actor in rep theatre, which soon led to roles in a succession of popular television dramas in the 60s, such as Dixon of Doc Green, Zed Cars, The Long Way Home and Doctor Who. But it was in 1964, as the BBC prepared to launch its second channel, that a young presenter heard about the programme that was being created aimed at under fives. He successfully auditioned and thus began a 21-year reign, pride of preschool programming for a generation. With a combination of songs, dance, hyper-enthusiastic presenters, and who could forget, Humpty, Jemima and Big Ted, Play School is, of course, a fond memory for anyone in the prime of life today. <laughs> no. Playaway followed, and appearances in countless children's TV series such as Bric a Brac, Star Turn, On Safari, and Jack and Ori. He's narrated much loved shows such as Trump Turn and Camberwick Green. His iconic voice gave us catchphrases that are part of the collective consciousness. I mean, the list just goes on and on and on. And my first encounter with this very gentle man was quite a few years back when I was on Blue Peter and uh, we were filming The Quest. And uh, he was just about to go and do some more theatre and tour all around Britain and uh, he needed somewhere to stay in Durham. And we got talking and to cut a long story short, he ended up staying with us at the farm. And it was an incredible experience to have such a legend in your home and to hear his anecdotes long into the night. And um, the bed and breakfast must have been all right because he came back the year after. And uh, he's been such a friend to our family uh, since then. But his career has spanned over 50 years. And recently he was named the country's best loved voice in children's television. So where better to look back at the highlights of this illustrious career than through the square window. Here we go. Here we go. Window one, two, three, four. Ready to knock? Turn the lock. It's play school. Hello. It's our turn to be with you this week. I'm Judy. And I'm Brian. Well, that's a lovely bottle, isn't it? I wonder what we could do with that. Yes, that wasn't bad, was it? It was laughing time, and the tall giraffe lifted his head and began to laugh. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, ha. Hello. It's only me. Oh, dear me, look what I've done. In the early days, looking for presenters, we really tried to find a great range of people, but very, very early on, Brian applied and came, and he likes telling this story about how I gave him a cardboard box. And he sat in it, and I said to him, um, now go on a, an imaginary journey. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, well, uh, all right, let's go. Uh, so I got the oars, and I rode out, <laughs> Well, it was a lovely day. It was I, and I, once I got out there, you know, it was beautiful. Nobody about, there were a few, few, few little clouds scudding, and seagulls, cute Percy Edwards. Seagull. And he came back with a boot full of custard and he got the job. With Brian, there was something very special and um, there was no doubt one saw his charm from the beginning and that lasted and he seemed to be ageless. He never seemed to get any older in all those 21 years. What's going on? I didn't expect the lad of this. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I was always inspired by Brian because I thought he was a fantastic children's performer. He was very, very endearing to everybody, and not only to the children, but also I think because of the poor adults have to sit through these programs with their children. And I think they felt comfortable with Brian. Which of you likes birthday cake? Do you? Yeah. Well, there you are. There's some candles to put on your next one. <laughs> Do you all like Suffolk fun? Yeah. Well, I've only got one bit. Give it a lick and then pass it round, will you? <laughs> Barney McGrew, Cuthbert, Dibble, Grub. Just the second you, that he starts saying, you are five again. And you see it, and it's those figures, Gordon Murray's puppets and everything. You know, it was a kind of kids' TV perfect storm, Trumpton. All of the elements. Here is a box, a musical box, wound up and ready to play. But this box can hide a secret inside. Can you guess what is in it today? Even now. I, I just, that, that sense of anticipation. Ding, 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 ding. And you watch, and it's just the way, the way that the segmented top would slide out as it span. Who's coming out of the box? Is it going to be Windy Miller? Windy Miller, Windy Miller, sharper than a thorn. You couldn't get Windy Miller drunk now, and you couldn't have him walking past the blades of that windmill. You know, Gordon Murray found it quite funny that Wendy would walk in and out and these sails, there's an innocence to it. Pimpernel Petroleum is a bold, bad bus who doesn't care for travelling from Glasgow to Luss. Pop goes her engine, crunch go her gears, her passengers are sitting with their fingers in their ears. Pimpernel Petroleum loves to make a fuss, for Pimpernel Petroleum is a bold, bad bus. Putting on of costumes was no problem to him because, of course, in all his TV children and stuff, he'd always dressed up and was always in something new. He's a great exhibitionist, and I suppose, in a way, you know, he, he took to it like a duck to water. He didn't care what wigs we put him in or what costumes, he loved it. After three, I want everyone to say the magic Chinese word, Yakanori! <laughs> Ready? After three, one, two, three, Yakanori! <laughs> He was dependable, he was uh, so likeable, and uh, just a, a fantastic performer. I just feel incredibly lucky to have lived in an era where we had Brian Kent. <laughs> Dappled, he woke up one morning feeling very hungry. Ooh, am I looking forward to my breakfast, he neighed. I can't really. Uh, think of anyone more deserving than Brian for this uh, really very prestigious award. I just wish that you could just be very, very happy all the time and keep well and good. I'm giving this special award to the wonderful Brian Kant. Thank you very much. When I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child. When I became a man, I spake as a child, <laughs> I understood as a child, I thought as a child, and they paid me for it.
Apologies to the first epistle of Paul to the Corinthians. I don't suppose they care. <laughs> How long have I got, I asked Lisa Prime. As long as you like, she said. So we could start by singing, my hat, it has three corners. <laughs> but we won't. Some years ago, at a Foyle's literary lunch, a speech given by the gin magnet, Sir Walter Gilby, went on for 90 minutes. A man sitting at the top table fell asleep, which annoyed Sir Walter somewhat. Oh, hang on. <laughs> so he picked up the Toastmaster's mallet, struck the man on the head, and carried on talking. The man looked up and said, I can still hear you, hit me again. <laughs> I shan't keep you that long. I'm hungry. <laughs> Just long enough to thank Matt for his kind words and presenting me with this wonderful award. Thanks to The rescue team. Thank you to everyone I've ever worked with. What a jolly evening. <laughs> I thank my five brilliant children, three of whom are with me tonight, as is my darling wife, Cherry who has the task of looking after this shaky old fart. <laughs> and of course, huge thanks to BAFTA. Bless you, thank you all. Oh, God. Going to waltz off. <laughs> what an amazing man. Okay, the next award is for Factual Programme. To present the award, a doctor, scientist, and TV presenter with so many letters after his name, his programmes have to be in widescreen just to get his credits up. He's got more titles than Chelsea. It's Professor Robert Winston. I, uh, I think it's got my uh, DNA and my fingerprints on it. <laughs> the uh, nominations for the factual programme are... Factual. Election, your vote. You've been grilling some of Britain's leading politicians. What is a solid representation? You've still not answered the question. You know, I haven't got a clue. Is this something to do with SpongeBob SquarePants? No. <laughs> it's tough. They knew all the information, they'd done a lot of prep. I thought it was, I thought they were brilliant. My Life Karate Kids. Many of the children here have trouble walking. Others can barely move at all, and I've been told that they will not gain much movement as they become older. However, already the Sanjuro is breaking new ground here. But for some of the children in wheelchairs, it will be a long, hard struggle, and there may be few lasting results. News Round Special, Living with Alcohol. You don't care. You don't care about anything at all, as long as you've got that drink. Kept it a big secret. I didn't tell my friends about what I was drinking because I felt I might like take the mick out of me and call me names and that. Nobody understood what it was like for me because they always used to, the teachers always used to tell me to sit down. News Round Special, caught in the web. Hey Lucy, saw you at school today. Your hair looks awful. Who 
cuts it, you're none. Lucy felt alone and upset, but because they weren't actually hurting her, she wasn't sure if it was bullying or not. Ah, oh, is the baby crying? Are you fed up of our nice little chats? Shame, because we haven't even started. And the BAFTA goes to Newsround Special Living With Alcohol. Thanks everyone for voting, um, Barney for presenting it, also the amazing contributors we had who told really quite amazing stories of things they've been through. Um, thanks Damien for commissioning such a subject, such a beautiful, such a film and such a difficult subject. So thank you and Joe and Stephen as well and my lovely exec so Anna and Jilly, so thank you. Okay, now we have the award for animation. Now this celebrates animated programs that are aimed at children aged five and over. I say aimed at, but I'm 31 and still love them. To present the award, a talented actress who starred in hit movie comedy, Couples Retreat, and Terry Pratchett's The Colour of Magic. She's also the Spanish teacher from Waterloo Road. So to make her feel welcome, please, if you could mumble at the back, pass notes amongst yourselves. Are you chewing gum? Everyone, please welcome, it's Karen David. I'm so excited to be here. I can't stop sm smiling that my cheeks are sore now. <laughs> right, let's find out the nominations for animation. Animation. Doctor Who, Dreamland. Horrid Henry.
right, thank you all. Thank you, BAFTA. Um, this is a big surprise. Um, third time lucky. Thank you. Um, I'd like to thank, first of all, my wonderful producer, who I couldn't have done without, Gareth. Um, all the crew. Um, the BBC, of course, and WDR in Germany. And thank you. <laughs> we might as well thank Justin as well, who's the voice of oh, Sean yes, the Sheep. Thanks, Justin. <laughs> That's what it's all about. The more animations we have to lead kids astray with pillow fights. I have a personal story that's uh, relatable to that. My brother once put me in hospital after we had a pillow fight. Remember the old Doc Martin shoes? He put one in the pillow. <laughs> True, not funny. Now, the award for writer. And it's an award. What does celebrate them peoples what do stuff with words like in it? I quite like that one, no? All right. To present the award, a woman who went from entertaining us in the bill to wowing us in Strictly Come Dancing. Quite an achievement, considering police officers are renowned for the size of their feet. I haven't seen that one. Please welcome Ali Bastion. Good evening, everybody. It's a huge honour to be here tonight presenting this award. So the nominations for writer are... Writer, Paul Smith for Roy. It wasn't me, honest. Is this your bag, son? You don't mind if I just... Well, actually... Have a little peep. See what's inside. But it's not mine, it's the... The writing team for horrible history. We lost. Right. Thought so. Good thing I brought this then, isn't it? What's in there? A raven. <laughs> We're in the middle of the sea. What use is a bird? This raven is very hungry. When I let it out of the box, it will soar up into the sky, and if it sees land, it will fly straight for it looking for food. All we have to do is follow. Sat Rav. Wow! Phil Ford for the Sarah Jane adventure. Still say there's no such thing as the paranormal then. I only wish the professor were here to see it. And my father. Your watch! Did it pick up something alien? The readings were confused. Alien? That's more like it. Aliens I can handle. We have to track down the source of whatever is happening here. We have to stop it and get Professor Rivers back. Neville Astley, Mark Baker, Phil Hall for Peppa Pig. This time, it's 40 electrical cables. How do you meant a clackety cables? We dig up the road! Hooray! Peppa and George love it when Mr Bull digs up the road. <laughs> Everyone loves it when Mr Bull digs up the road. <laughs> And the BAFTA goes to... Oh, there's going to be some excited people in this room. The writing team for Horrible History! Uh, this could take a while. We've got a lot of people to thank. Yeah. Um, from the Anderson man right through to Winston Churchill. <laughs> uh, it's, there's a fantastic team that make this show, as you all know. Uh, the writing team, I've got Larry here, Ben's here somewhere. Uh, there's Colin Swash, there's Steve Pump, John Holmes, Gerald Foster, Dave Cohen. Big old team. Caroline Norris runs us all into the ground regularly, but <laughs> without her, the show wouldn't be what it is. Uh, Greg Jenner for all our fantastic history facts. Uh, Terry Deary for the raw material in the first place. Uh, I'd also like to thank Anne Gilchrist, Damien Kavanagh, uh, Richard Bradley. Uh, the list could go on and on. <laughs> Let's not let it. 
<laughs> let's, let's not let it. Who have I forgotten? Uh, we should probably just thank the, the cast who add the ten laughs that occasionally we forget to put on the page. Thanks for that. <laughs> and really all the entire it. production team and the post-production team, we just write the words, they put it on the screen. Fantastic directors, fantastic set. Everybody, thank you so much. And BAFTA, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. OK, we now come to the award for feature film. Now, films can be of any genre, but with a specific family appeal. So, tough luck, I spit on your grave, too. <laughs> Here to present the award, the hit girl from box office smash Kick-Ass. She's taken time away... I know, I know. She's taken time away from filming with Martin Scorsese on Hugo Cabret. Excuse me. To join us this evening, please welcome Chloe Moretz. So, I just saw Aiden backstage. Wow. <laughs> I promised someone I wouldn't say that, but I did. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, we all have our favorites, and um, here are some of mine. Let's have a look at the four outstanding feature films of this year. Feature film. Toy Story 3. One, two, three! Whoa! Nanny McPhee and the Big Bang. I am Nanny McPhee. Please listen carefully. You are all to stop what you are doing and go upstairs to bed. You look like a banana! You look like an unraveled toilet roll! Did you hear what I said? You are to stop fighting. Get off me! Immediately. Fantastic Mr. Fox. Carl, you got a credit card? Sure. See, this is what I was saying about how good you are just being available for a titanium card. How the cuss should you qualify for this? I pay my bills on time. I've always had good credit. BAFTA goes to up. Well, clearly I am not the filmmaker, but on behalf of Pixar and Disney Pixar, I was on the phone earlier with John Lasseter and, and Pete Doctor and Jonas Rivera, and it is such an honor for them to receive a BAFTA, it, it, like no other prize here, they feel it is such a special recognition. So thank you very, very much on behalf of Disney and Pixar and all of my friends at Disney and our family there for the, the huge support in releasing the film. Thank you very much. Now, reflecting the growing range of media options to children, the BAFTA Kids Vote embraces four categories. Feature film, television, video game, and websites. Now, voting was carried out through a dedicated website, and we have had over an incredible 375,000 votes cast. To announce each of the winners, a young man who stole our hearts on The X Factor, but was robbed by Katie Wazel. I know. He's got a fantastic future ahead of him, and The X Factor's loss is our gain. Everybody, please welcome Aidan Grimshaw. Hello, uh, thank you for having me. Let's see the top 10 websites. Cartoon Network. There's videos, down
downloads from all your favourite shows. See BBC. The website has been nominated for the Back the Kids Vote 2010. Club the Penguin. Or cool, cool tricks. Throw huge parties. Disney.co.uk. Girls Go Games. Makeup Games. Lego. Mini Clip. Moshi Monster. And learn the Hey Moshi dance. Nick.co.uk. That was awesome! Yeah. Star Doll. And the winner is. Club Penguin. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks to the BAFTAs. Uh, I was spending all afternoon with my son playing Water Ninja, so I know what I did this for. It's because all the kids love this game, and I would like to thank you. Thank you. <laughs>